YouTube, this is Goofy Goober 302, bringing you the easiest way to mod your zombies, Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> On zombies, whatever. All you're gonna need is the game, an Xbox, cancel, <laughs> sorry, my connect does that, um, an Xbox remote, USB, and a uh, laptop or computer, whatever you're gonna use. And you're gonna need, uh, I don't have to explain Alright, so first plug the USB into your Xbox like that. Go to your settings, store, or, uh, yeah, system settings, storage, memory unit. You're gonna go to games and apps, Call of Duty Black Ops, click on title update, and delete it. Alright, get back out of that. Um, oh yeah. Then you're gonna click on that. Device option. Wait, no. Hang on. Go to memory unit. Your actual Xbox memory unit. Um, gamer profiles. Click on yours. I'm gonna use mine. Goofy Goober 302. Still add me, guys. Then move it. Yes. You're gonna move it to your memory unit. And it'll sign you out like that. <laughs> Now I'm signed back in, probably. Yeah. Then go back to your memory unit, click Y for device options, and clear system catcher. And then, just unplug it. Please reinsert, whatever. I'm not going to reinsert it. Go down here, back to the laptop. Plug it into the side. Plugged in. Alright, and. You're gonna need Horizon. It's a mod thing. Um, don't scan. Um, yeah, it's a mod thing, and it'll be in the description for the download of it. Same with the actual mod. All right, but once you're in Horizon, you're gonna go to Gamer Profiles. Well, this thing will pop up right here. Gamer Profiles. Double click. Click on your name, Goof Cooper 302. Double click on that, then that will pop up. Then you're going to go to Contents. You're going to look for this 415608550.jpd. That's the one you need for the mod. Alright, and then, hang on, I think you're going to, oh yeah. Once you have the mod downloaded in Horizon, or mostly the mod, you right click on that and click on replace. Then this will open up. Then wherever the, you place the mod at, it should be the same number. 415608.55.jpd. Wait, was that the right one? 415560. I don't know if that's the right one. <laughs> 415 Yeah. 415 Wait, what? Hang on. I get confused. Alright, 415 4156080855. Alright, yeah, that's the right one. Alright, and you're going to click on that and open it. And then it'll say file successfully replaced. Then you're gonna click on OK. And then after that you're gonna save, rehash, and resign three times. So click on it once. Save rehashed and resign to the device. Then you can click on it again. You just gotta be safe about it to make sure it works. So do it three times. Alright. Close that, take out your USB, and bring it back to your Xbox. Alright, should be plugged in now. Alright, then you're going to go back to your USB on the storage, go to Gamer Profiles, yours, which mine is Google Bit 302, move, yes, 
to the memory unit. Then once it's done, you're good. Just start up your game. Um, I'm not sure if this works on Xbox Live. I'm going to try it out later. Probably update it in the description. Um, just click on Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> yeah, maybe we have to get that alert. Look at the lights off. <sighs> maybe not. Purple. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, it all looks the same. Skip over that, press start, click on your memory unit. Then, if this doesn't pop up, you're screwed, you're going to have to go back and redo it again, because it did not work, you messed up at some point. Okay, configure everything. I don't really care. I'm just going to adjust this. I don't, I don't know, like, how to use the controls. I only know how to do God mode and another one. Yes. Zombies. And here's another way to know you that if you're screwed not, go to solo. And Dead Ops Arcade should be crushed out. <laughs> so, yeah. And just play it. Um, the controls will be in the description. Well, the ones I know. You guys can find out the rest on your own. Um, thanks for your time. Give me 302 on Xbox. Um, see you guys later.